Hi everyone, thanks for coming back for Amos TCL Diploma TV Exam uh, tutorial on how to write the music essay. This is one of the questions that we tested in uh, Diploma Music Theory Exam. And this is not only for music students, this lesson is a music appreciation class for everyone actually. I will explain it and teach you how to answer the question with very simple words and sentences, explaining how does it off make the final movement of Kamina Burana so impressive? The reason why I choose to talk about this orchestra work is because Kamina Burana composed by Ka O is one of the most frequently performed choral work of the 21st century. It is a cantata composed in 1935 by Karl Off, based on 24 po poems from the medieval collection, contains numerous poetic descriptions of a grand medieval paradise. I've attached the link for this music score in the description box, the, so you can check the description box to download the music score. Uh, and down, just download it for your own reference. But the music score that I use here is a piano reduction instead of full orchestra score. I cannot use the orchestra score here due to, due to the copyright, copyright issue. Kamina Burana is not a very long word, so someone hearing it for the first time might very well realize that the final movement has been heard already. Although it might not be remembered that it was previously heard right at the beginning, let's take a listen on the impressive part of this orchestra. For first time writing an essay for music analysis, we can start writing out the main subjects in point form, starting with short, simple sentences. For this fragmented point of view, by looking at the melodic structure, rhythm, speed, harmony, and texture of the music, we can start to extend and elaborate the ideas and prolong it in longer sentences. So we start with short um, keywords, very short keywords. Slowly you extend your 
phrases longer and longer. And I'm going to show you how in detail. First of all, these are the main points that we can see from orchestra score. The heavy music line starts with O Fortuna, a very thick harmony played by piano, cello, double bass, and decisive chords from the lowest wind and brass. From here, we can extend our phrases by observing the rhythm. The rhythm here is syncopated, followed by looking at the speed. There is a poco stringento in bar 3. Poco stringento in bar 3 means you need to get faster and faster. The speed it must increase. And that brings the excitement to a higher level. The cadences at the end of bar 1 and 2 make the rhythm even more incisive. Next, we can look at the harmony. The harmony in piano clashing chords has E and F playing together and these clashes will produce thrilling effects together with the situated rhythm. Together with high level of dynamics, they bring the mood of this section to the highest level of excitement. The musical terms Hesante also direct performers to play it at very assertive and deliberate manners. After exhausting listeners' ears, the music changes character in bar 5. The value of the notes gets smaller from minimum in the beginning to now crotchet in the accompaniment pattern. The dynamic suddenly changes to pianissimo, means very soft. Pianissimo means very soft. Voices sing very little phrases of four minimum. Each note mark staccato, so very light and steady. The effect like this is very calming compared to the opening. Most instruments in the orchestra are playing low and sustaining notes. However, there is a hidden element that can cause the excitement to grow again. Over here, the viola, cello, and first bassoon joined by the piano play a continuous oscillatory pattern, and they go across the bar line with tension that has been reduced greatly. But there is potential for things to become more excited in new course. From here off, starts to build in tension secretly in bar 9 to 12, where the singers have four bar phrases for more syllables to sing. This four bar phrase extends the number of tones, with orchestral accompaniment continues to double the voices. In bar 21, the texture starts to get slightly thicker. Voices start to move in the first, first and second flutes join in with oboes and Kongle and clarinet replaced bassoon, doing something different, descending to lower register, and Tam Tam joins in too. However, the dynamics remain pianissimo, so the, has, uh, the loud effect of imminence continues. In bar 29, the texture reverts to that effect that can be found in bar 5. Because the singers go back to sing in unison, and in their bar 54, there are subtle changes which introduce some dissonance sonority in vocal parts. This makes the audience to wonder how much longer this subtle muttering is going to continue. In bar 61, we got the answer. A huge explosion of sound happens, and at the same time, a further increase in tempo is happening here. The full force of players are back again. The soprano are now octave higher. The range of accompaniment is also moving to higher register. And the pianists are instructed to play at very loud dynamic, which is very aggressively hammering the piano, which means we need to hammer the piano very aggressively. And this is only halfway through the, uh, through the climax. There's more to come, and the piano parts are marked for this mode. The rest are forte. The rest of the instruments are forte. The dramatic effect decreases when voices reach bar 77, and both sopranos and tenors are singing in thirds in the higher register, magnificently supported by horns and strings. We have reached the final dramatic moments. The only crescendo in the movement is a brief one in bar 91 and it leads into the final height in tempo at bar 93. At this moment, the singers reach their final syllable which is sustained for 8 bars. Brass and pianos are triple F. 
and the majority of the orchestra play aesthetic crutches, which move relentlessly through the same four note pattern mentioned earlier and which has by now been first infused and finally hammered into the audience for several minutes. This is the most impressive section of this orchestra work. So if you find my tutorial useful, you can subscribe to my channel and the, the suggestion that I give you just now, like um, how to analyze this work and how to off bring this piece to the um, climax and excitement is just a, a model answer from myself. You can start to develop your own musical uh, idea or use your own words to describe this work. And what I have covered today is an uh, expectation of what of the examiner and how to score well for your uh, music essays. You can take it as a reference and you can also see in the description box on what are the expectations of an uh, examiner and how do they mark your essay. So I hope my tutorial is useful today. Thank you for watching. Bye.